to my channel, The Transparent Homeschool. My name is Beth and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I am going to be taking you on a tour of my homeschool room. I did a little bit of tweaking um, since last year. I only have a few new things that we bought for kind of like the new flow of our room. And so before I show you my room, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos and I will show you where the magic happens. Okay, everyone, we are going to start at my stairs, like right here at my stairs. Um, so first off, we painted this wall. I love the blue. It is such a color pop. And we got some blinds on there. I kept the, um, the curtains. It adds just a really nice, cohesive, finished look, and I really enjoy that. This is a little area for my son. I have um, blocks and stuff and this little rocking chair. I made this for my sister for her kindergarten classroom like eight years ago. She no longer uh, works in the public school system. She also homeschools her daughter. So um, she has given it back to me since her daughter is almost 12 and cannot fit into it anymore. So this is like his little area. So my son is 18 months. He's got his little like sports area over there. Um, but this is kind of his thing over here. I've definitely, um, done some things different here. So we'll just kind of start here on the top. I've got scratch paper, wipes, and then all of our, um, dry erase markers for our dry erase board up here. In the top, I don't have anything, um, because this is kind of like his area. So I brought a bunch of his toys out. We do have some, um, extra paper uh, if he wants to like, you can see he's been coloring. In this drawer, I have some drawing pads. It, they light up um, when you push the button. And then down here, I moved all of his puzzles in for my bedroom. So I have a bunch of Melissa and Doug um, like board puzzles. And then all of the pieces go into this little bucket here. On the bottom here, I have his train set. And then he can like put it together on the table right behind him. Like I said, I just have two huge bins of like blocks, just full of blocks. So you've seen better days. So this is my 18 month old's little area. This is my son's uh, personal desk. So we um, bought the two cork boards for my um, son and my daughter. He gets his own computer this year because he's gonna be doing a lot of like presentations and stuff where she's not necessarily going to, so he gets a computer. They each have their bins. If you remember from the first day of school video, they uh, got to pick out their color bins and they just have like things that are um, like important to them that they can put up there. Crayons, markers, colored pencils. I bought them each these little lights because um, if there's not sun coming from the window, like if it's a, a cloudy day or something, it can get kind of um, kind of dark in here. And so I had bought these lights at the dollar store of all places, and they're actually really bright. So that is his desk, and he has his drawers here. Just really quickly, his dry erase board, his math and typing history and science, language arts, and then kind of like his Bible stuff down here. So that is my son's little desk. And then over here, I moved all of our paper up here. Um, most of this is out of my 18 month old's reach, maybe like the top, the bottom two uh, layers are in his reach, but everything else is above. Whereas last year I had them down here and he was taking them out constantly. So, um, we have construction paper and cardstock, notebook paper down here. That's the switch. I wonder where that is. And then, um, I had these two red bins in another room. So I repurposed them and put more of my son's toys in it. So little train blocks and then like a little um, ball toy in there. This is the learning palette from Usborn, formerly Usborn, now Paper Pie, with all of the um, 
pages that go on there. These are all of my white clean books. This is a large collection of Tangram pictures I have collected over the years. A lot of these are from the Good and the Beautiful, uh, like math courses. And I didn't want to get rid of them because my kids love Tangrams. These are the wrap-ups from Paper Pie, formerly Usborne Books and More. These four bins are new. I got them at the dollar store. Um, they're pretty, and I like the stripes. However, they do not fit um, standard size, like, folders and notebooks. So when I had purchased them originally, I was going to do something different with them, but they didn't fit, so I was pretty upset. But I found uses for them anyway. Down here, again, I just kept a bunch of stuff that my son can play with while he is kind of out here with us. Um, and then... As he gets older, I will add a lot more like activities in those boxes for him. I have my little um, fox and my skunk with our remotes. Here's my massive water and me, hello. This is my daughter's desk. She has her reading log um, on her cork board. She has all of her things in her bin here. So we've got like Bible stuff, colored pencils, crayons, her light from the dollar store, markers, all of that stuff. Her computer right here and then quickly in her drawers she's got her mess up here language arts and dry erase markers that stuff math and then her independent work down here so this um this storage like um, unit has been with us for a very long time and so it's just been serving multiple purposes throughout the years up here we have the volume two history we will not be getting to this uh this year i just um kept it here i don't really know why but we are using volume one these are all of our read alouds our missionary study these are our bible study books here that we will be using in a few weeks for bsf we are going over the book of revelation um, answer key for what math five and then their future levels of explode the code these are the uh, new science activity books from the good and the beautiful and I'm keeping them up there for when she is ready in the top drawer here I have all of my printer paper I put it secretly over here in the corner because my children use computer paper like fiends and I'm not prepared to just not have that. Um, so here I have a massive thing of rubber bands. Um, someone was getting rid of it and I use rubber bands a lot so I decided to take it. Chalk pastels, oil pastels up here. Down in this one are like holiday uh, party things. We do scavenger hunts and cakewalks a lot for like neighborhood friends and stuff so I keep that stuff. This is all of our art paper. There's like watercolor, drawing paper, tracing paper. Um, so all of like the high quality paper whereas over there in my son's stuff um, it was just like stuff like big drawing pads. This is my secret stash of tape and whiteout. Um, again my children like just consume tape and I'm not really sure where it goes so I decided to hide it uh, our clipboards and then down here and this last one a bunch of notebooks that we've had so um, this is where all of the extra whiteboards go down there here's our nice window in our sign I made last year we have our bird book and binoculars so they could bird watch I'm charging my headphones right there and then I moved um, all of our games to this wall. So there's the other one over there. And so these two bins are new, also from the dollar store. They contain all of our puzzles that we have, like just little things we've collected throughout the years. And then down here, we have all of our floor puzzles by Melissa and Doug. And then these two are from Usborne. And then our um, big uh, Ravensburg Disney puzzle. And then everything else 
our board games. Up here is our globe. Bless this mess. That's my life. And then um, we have a flag for my father. This is our map of the United States. And then this is kind of, there's my water again. My desk um, over here, I have just a bunch of like random teacher supplies. I need to move that tape back where it belongs in my secret hiding spot. Um, Sharpies, magic markers, um, extra index cards, and then my three hole punch. And then down here is our stuff for the calendar and extra big middle envelopes. Up here is just like everyday teacher supplies. This is um, her old kindergarten prep um, book and the teacher child to read 100 easy lessons. Love that book. And this is our science supplies list. So I'm kind of keeping all that right here until I figure out something else to do with it. I've got more envelopes and then my address book here. Down here is all of my camera stuff. Um, this is a problem because my son likes to get in there and cause all kinds of, you know, mischief. So I might have to move that. Under my desk, um, so this like juts out, which I really like because it separates my desk from my daughter's, but then she's still close enough to me where we can like um, put the book right here and then we can both do her lessons together. I have my trash can. That's my travel bag wherever we go. I bring it. It's had like books and pencils and stuff. My son's co uh, laptop computer that's currently just kind of being forgotten because he has his big computer now. Extra computer paper, extra notebook paper, and then cardstock. This is kind of like down here are extra folders and an adult coloring book because I like to do that sometimes and listen to music on my computer. My laminating pouches. This is really nice like resume paper. And then sheet protectors and um, photo paper. Up here is our family budget. And then these are their, um, like, book, their, like, records that I keep for them and all their papers throughout the years. Over here, since it's freezing in my house, I have just a bin of blankets for everybody to use. This is, again, more, like, stuff for my son, the, el the um, elephants there. This is a bunch of magnet tiles and fraction magnets, things like that. Down here, I have another drawing pad that's supposed to go over there. And then just a bunch of, like, art books, like how to draw this, how to draw that. So that's what is in my little like desk area, my planner over here, my month calendar here, tissues, best pencil sharpener ever, calendar. Um, I did not change any of that. I left that there, left that there. My daughter's desk, she has a little cat light, color pencils, crayons, markers, all of her other things, and then her independent work here, so handwriting, Bird watching. This is going to be her science and then her little notebook. There is absolutely no rhyme or reason to these. So I'm just going to show you really quickly. Oh, I don't know where her language arts book went. Oh, there it is. Told you. And then I think this is empty. So that's her area. That's her little desk. And then finally, um, one more massive cubby holder of games. These are our um, independent logic games. These are the family card games. And then these are the think fun um, independent logic games that kind of just go over there. And then I have some fake flowers, a picture and a candle, and then our trash can. And then this is like our homeschool supplies closet over here. Our paper cutter up there. We've got an art set here. This is my Cricut Joy. I just kind of keep all of the parts in there. A thing of cotton balls. I'm just gonna lift the camera up. This is a bunch of paint, very large things of paint. And there's all of my craft supplies, like here, acrylic paint right there. Um, stamps. 
and then um, microscope slides, my Cricut stuff here, two microscopes, empty bins, a massive thing of crayons. You're not a teacher or a homeschool mom if you just don't have like a bin, big bin of crayons. Paint, watercolor, um, palettes, extra like crayons and things like that. Those are um, counting cubes. And then down here are extra colored pencils. This caddy has been with us for a while also. And this is just kind of the, I don't know, leftover school supplies from years past. So all of our dry erase markers that haven't dried out are twist up crayons from Crayola. I love this um, brand. So now they're here. Colored pencils, thin markers, fat markers, and extra scissors. These are um, some drawing supplies. I've got like uh, charcoal sticks and then all kinds of different erasers and then just a random collection of extra school supplies that I don't know what to do with. Uh, this is like a craft box. My daughter got this bead kit. I've got some crosses in there that we can um, paint at some point and then glue. This is our crosswired science experiment kit. Um, I made a video about crosswired science and what this backpack is. So um, I will link that up here. Go check that out. It's really cool. My laminator, just a bunch of, you know, trash, a fake pepper. And um, this bin here. But then underneath, again, some wipes, the instructions for the talking microscope, butterfly garden, just extra, um, like, again, craft supplies, paper bags. Um, this is a um, rock kit, and we will be using that when we study geology this year. And this is my thing of stickers. So, that is my craft closet. Oh, I forgot this one. Um, this is like a door organizer, hot glue gun, um, fix it spray for our pastels. This is an air, like duster, paint shirts, paint supplies, paint supplies, and my label machine there. That's my homeschool closet. We're getting to that point in our homeschool journey where we don't really necessarily like have to buy a lot for school. Um, I just did a supply haul a couple of videos ago. And so go ahead and check that out. But we basically um, have now collected enough supplies where we don't need to buy a whole bunch of new stuff. So from year to year, we kind of just get to use whatever we have on hand. And so I didn't spend too much money while I like redesigned the room. Um, we did buy a few new things, but I really like the new space. It um, Every year I try to do something at least a little bit different just to breathe new life into our space and rejuvenate it. And I think that this space does it. And it kind of separates the, the kids. Last year, if you remember, I had a big desk just like all along that wall, which was um, something I had always wanted to do. But uh, this year, I was ready for something different. So that's my, uh, my homeschool room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up before you go. And I will see you guys really soon.